It's kind of like a podcast. All right, so I would have done this on January 1st, but I only thought of it yesterday. So every first of the month, I'm going to do this. I'm going to show my vlog from 10 years ago every first of the month. You know, it's just going to be like just one of those special, special things, you know, just to just to show you what I was like then compared to now, uh, just in case you weren't around for that. You know, it was 10 years ago. So uh, let's see here. I got the link. I got the link. <laughs> um, paste and go. Whoa! Okay. No, 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 no. That started on its own. Oh, no! So that's me 10 years ago. Wow. All right. Hmm. That's me 10 years ago. So yeah, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to do commentary, whatever. Uh, let's see here. That's better. That's better. Okay. Everybody. Well, yeah, everybody should be wearing red today. I chose to wear my Prince George shirt. Red. Lived oh. there for a year right. and a half. It's National Wear Red Day. Okay, and it's the YTO, it stands for YouTube Orbit. Okay, um, that was the thing back then. It was the YouTube Orbit. Um, let me just turn that down a little bit. Um, yeah, it was the YouTube Orbit. Uh, it and was... Yeah, but you don't have to wear a shirt. You can wear red underwear. Red framed glasses, red hats. Oh, I've got red framed glasses. Anything, that. really. Red pants if you got it. I love red. What? I love red. I've always liked red. See, my, my chair. My chair right there. It's got red on it. My headphones have red on <coughs> My glasses have red on them. I got red everywhere. Right? I always wear red. I always wear red. I always have red, whatever. So February 1st is National red, Wear Red Day. I didn't know that. I had no idea at all. So Whatever you like, because it is National Wear Red Day. Okay, so National Wear Red Day is a day in February mm. when many people wear red to show their support for awareness of heart disease. It occurs in America on the first Friday in February each year where people wear red. Uh, the Heart Truth is a national awareness campaign for women about heart disease. Okay, so this year it will be February 3rd. That's the first Friday of February. Sponsored by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, part of the National Institutes of Health, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, designed to warn women of their number one health threat, the Heart Truth, created and introduced the red dress as the national symbol for women and heart disease awareness in 2002, to deliver an urgent wake-up call to American women. Now that's in the U.S. Now in the U what was that? Uh, someone's talking to me on Windows Messenger, but who cares? I'm doing this. <laughs> More important. Windows Messenger. Wow. How many of you remember Windows Messenger? Things change a lot in 10 years. Now, in the UK, 
A National Wear Red Day occurs every year on February 26th and is run by the British Heart Foundation. February is National Heart Month for the BHF and the National Wear Red Day is an annual campaign at the Centre of Raising Awareness of Heart Disease in the UK. It was created by the BHF and has gained interest year on year. Now, let's see here. The Heart Truth is a campaign meant to raise awareness of the risk of heart disease in women. The campaign is sponsored in the United States by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, an organization of the United States Department of Health and Human Services. A similar campaign is promoted in Canada by the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada. It focuses mainly on educating women aged 40 to 60, as that is the time when the risk of heart disease begins to increase. Uh, the campaign began in March 2001 on recommendation from over 70 experts on the health of women. The research stressed the need to communicate to women about the risk of heart disease and endorsed the heart truth as means of doing so. Now, there we go again. I'm so popular, people keep talking to me. <laughs> Anyway, you're probably wondering why I'm so passionate about this whole wear red day and uh, the whole heart thing. Well, I was born with uh, what is known as the transposition of the greater arteries. Basically, half of my heart was upside down and I had to go in for surgery. When I was one year old, I got transported from Winnipeg to Toronto uh, to the uh, hospital for sick children and I they performed the mustard surgery on me, or mustard procedure, and corrected my heart. Uh, this was like 35 years ago, and honestly, I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. Uh, my cardiologist says that I'm in really good condition, uh, despite a few setbacks, which are normal in this... Uh, <laughs> in uh well for the length of time that i've had the problem um uh, things are actually progressing better than they should be um uh, he said that most of his patients are on uh, pacemakers uh, and other stuff like that uh, it's hard for me to think about this stuff off off the top of my head like this but I did, I do have, if you look down in the uh, description box, um, there's a link to a YouTube video that explains my condition and how to correct it. Uh, I figured I'd add that so that you guys can see exactly uh, what I'm talking about. And hmm. I want to check that out. I don't know why. Transposition of the great arteries is a heart defect where the aorta and pulmonary artery are switched from their normal positions. Instead, blue or low oxygen blood goes right back out to the body instead of to the lungs. Red or oxygenated blood returns from the lungs and goes right back out to the lungs again instead of to the body. A mustard operation corrects this problem by using a synthetic material, creating baffles to direct blue blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen and red blood to the body to supply the tissues. Hmm, interesting. And what this whole heart thing means to me. Now, I'm currently uh, so that's what member happened to me. Of the group, wow, or a Facebook group called Trip Beats, uh, which is made up of a whole bunch of people who have one form of a heart condition or another, like all different types of heart conditions. Uh, I will be posting this video in that group uh, so everybody can see it. Now, the person that brought this. Uh, 
National Red National Wear Red Day to my attention was a girl named Sarah Dineen, uh, who is also a member of Trip Beats, and uh, she's the one that organized this whole thing. Uh, well that particular event on Facebook. I'm sure a lot of other people made the same thing too, but this is the one that came to my attention. Uh, so I just want to say thank you, Sarah, for uh, taking the time to create that event, uh, to bring awareness. I think I got about 20 or 30 people to say yes, they will wear red on uh, February 1st. And here we go. So. Hopefully today, being February 1st, you wear red. Um, who knows? It's all, it's all up to you. Okay? So... Today, February 1st... What do you want, Boxer? Yeah. <laughs> Just I miss Boxer. Woke up, he's stretching and everything. Anyway, today, February 1st, wear red, and most of all, take it easy. Ha! <laughs> wow. Okay. Haven't said that in a while. But anyway, I don't know if I ever will. Take it easy. I've never actually said that in real life. <laughs> Only on those vlogs. I always ended it with, take it easy, and pff, I don't think anybody ever did, but whatever, I always said it, but I never, ever said it in real life. Okay, one time, one time I went to the store and <laughs> paid for whatever it was that I bought, and just before I left, I told the cashier, take it easy, and it felt so awkward and so weird that I never said it again in real life, but I continued to say it in the videos and the vlogs because that was the that was the signature thing that I did to end off the vlogs, right? I always said, take it easy, and then there we go. But I honestly, I've never said that in real life. Um, I know. I know, I know, I know. Now that I've said that, you're going to say, Oh, you're a big fat phony, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not a phony. I just, that's just not something that I said in real life. It was something that I said in the vlogs, you know, like every actor. I mean, I'm sure Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't always say, I'll be back all the time in real life, I mean, come on, maybe as a joke, maybe just whatever, you know, like that one time at the store, I was trying it out to see, you know, if I would be able to say it in real life, no, I guess I, I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, and that's why I don't say it now, you know, my, my whole catchphrase now is, let's do this, all right, so, I don't know, and that's why I show the logo at the end. Instead of saying it, it's right there. So, I don't know, maybe I should add some audio on that saying, let's do this. I could. I could. Probably won't, but I could. I don't know. But anyway, <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to go. And before I choke to death, I don't know what it is. Just my breathing isn't that great lately. There's something up with my lungs. I really, really hope it's nothing, nothing serious. It's just the winter and just not being able to breathe. I don't know. Could be a seasonal thing. I don't know. It's like uh, my my skin gets itchy in the winter times. Summer times, it's fine. There's no itching at all. But the winter months, I'm always, always itchy. I don't get that.
But yeah, so that was the video from 10 years ago. I'll put the link in the description box down below and you can check it out yourself um, if you want. I don't know. But it didn't get that many views. It only got like 23 views. Three likes. Two comments. And I can't even see the, the, the comments. I can just see my replies. Thanks. Thanks, bro. This is my third attempt at going through the orbit. Stay tuned. I might just make this. I might make it this time. LOL. But I, there's nothing. There's no comment there. I don't know who I'm responding to. Yeah, they're not in there. So it must be somebody who blocked me or somebody who I blocked. I don't know. But anyway, whatever. I mean, if you can see who commented on that, let me know. And then we'll both know. I don't know. Maybe I deleted it. I, but wouldn't that delete my reply to them? I don't know. I don't know. I'll be back tomorrow, though. Um, but remember... This year, wear red on Friday, February 3rd.